Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to see about the data visualizer. So basically what we were doing, we have taken a data set and that was a Google Play Store data set, right? Google Apps Play Store data set. Now uh, we have done the three parts of this video. Now today is the fourth and the last part in which we are going to see about the data visualization that how do we do this data visualization basically when we deal with any data set okay so this is the thing that we would be discussing today so let's get started for that so now for my data visualization firstly what i would do right i would write grp is equal to i would write df dot i would write group by okay this group by now i will use a function that is group by and here i would write category okay so this category was one of the columns which we were having in our data set right so i have basically used this category now next thing is i would be taking a variable x and i would be writing x is equal to grp okay here what i would be doing i would be adding my column and let's say my column is installs okay i would be adding my installs column here and i would just do the aggregate mean for my column okay that's a double g and it's nb dot mean okay now i would be doing the same thing for my y axis also okay so for y i would be writing grp and here i would be taking another column right so that column would be price so i have written price and here i would do a double g and in the bracket i would write np dot sum now i would be using the sum here okay now i would be taking one more variable that is z now i would be writing grp and in the brackets i would be writing reviews r e v i e w s okay now i'll be writing dot a double g and in the bracket i would be writing np dot mean okay so this is the thing that we'll be doing and after that i'll be printing x okay so print x then what would be the print y and at last print z okay now i would be running these things okay so i would be having an error because like i just saw that i need to write np in place of no okay so let's take the cursor and here and be right now let's run that and here would be getting output so basically this is the output which we would be getting now why i have just done this because i have just stored this installs in x this price in y and this z in reviews now after that when i would be just doing and making my graph so that would be a little bit more easier for me okay now what i need to do is that i'll be using my plotly library that i have already imported and which i have already told in a previous video okay I'll be writing plt and this is the plt dot figure okay and inside these brackets I will write fig size okay and now I would assign a proper size okay so I would just write as equal to and here let's say I want to assign 16 comma 5 okay so this is assigning the like this is the this this would be size of my figure so I have written 16 comma 5 okay now let's say I need I would write plt dot plot and this is the plot which we are going to make and for that what I need to do is that I need to pass a variable so I would quickly pass x now I need not to write anything here because this x is already uh, like we have installs column stored in x okay so now here I need not to mention this that here you need to write installs or something like that okay so I have written plt dot plot I would write x and here let's say I would write ro and why I have written this you will just get Thing in a little while so just let me write and i would let's say i would write color is equal to and let's say i want a blue color okay so i write color is equal to blue now i would just define the x and y axis so uh, i would write plt dot x ticks so basically this x ticks is used to like you can say define the x axis okay and here i would write rotation is equal to 90 okay so this is done now what i need to do is that i need to give a title also right Let's say I want to give a title. So I would write plt dot title and inside this I would put semi quotes under here. Let's say I would write I would write category category versus installs. Okay, so here I have written category versus installs. Now what I want in my like uh, in my x axis this must be something like this place, right? So I would write plt dot and i would write x label okay plt dot x label and now what i would do i would just put this bracket and here i would write in my x axis i would be having category right so i would write categories categories and i would just define it a little bit in a nicer way okay so this is done 
now what i'll be doing i'm just naming it a while label and in my what i have in my y so in y basically i have installs right so i would write installs and here also i would just define it in a nicer way so this is done now I would just write plt dot show and I would just put this bracket. Now, when I'm gonna run this, I would be okay. So I would I'm getting some error error also. So let's let's check that. So basically, what's the error? I need to see that module math dot lit dot. Okay, so I must have written the wrong spelling. Yeah, I have written the wrong spelling. So just let me correct that. L a b e l. Okay. Now, when we are gonna run this, I am going to get the output and here we have our plot so it is something like that okay so in the y axis i have installs written and in the x axis i have categories and basically this x takes what i have written this x takes rotation so basically why i have done because if i haven't written so all these names must have be like messed up between each other okay that is why i have just given a rotation as 90 and i have given that for x takes. so basically that means that and on the x value just rotate them okay now how does these circles come so basically these circles are this ro which i have used it so basically this ro is used for making these round and circles and b for b was for blue color so basically my circles are in my blue color so this is how basically plot like you can say plot a basic plot in using a data analysis doing a data analysis okay now let's let's do let's do other things also let's let's plot some other plots right so i would write here as plt dot figure okay i would be doing the same thing and i would write fig size I, and it's s i z e right if fig size is equal to and i will give the same size that is 16 comma 5 right so this is done now what i will be doing i will be writing plot okay p i was writing plt dot and now here I would be just passing y in place of that x I would be passing y right and now here I will be denoting in a little different way okay so I would be using r minus minus now I will be using this this is a new sum symbol okay you can just treat it as a new symbol and you will just get to know in a little while that what is the symbol and okay how does like it will appear on that output right so this is the thing I would write r minus minus and let's say i want the color to be red so i would simply write color is equal to r so this was done now i would write plt dot x takes, okay x takes okay then i would write rotation is equal to 90 this is the same thing which i have done earlier also now here i would write plt dot title i would get some title so now my like category is same i am i have taken this category as common for everything okay category and now i would be writing category and okay i need to put the semi like semi quotes category versus and i would be writing the pricing because in my y value i have stored prices right so i'm writing category versus pricing now i'll be getting the get, like giving my x and y labels right so i would be writing plt dot x label and uh, now it's something like categories categories and it's like let me just define it in a nicer way okay now i'll be writing plt dot y label and in the brackets i'll be writing prices okay prices and i would again put that dash dash and the sign and now i would write plt dot show so this was done and when i'm gonna run this i would be getting the output and okay so basically that r minus minus gives us these dotted lines right so now what i have done see on this y axis i have price okay and see on this x axis i have category so they are rotated in 90 degrees so that is why i have just used that um, plt dot x6 and in bracket that was rotation is equal to 90 so this is the like only reason that is why i was using that now moving towards i even have the title that is category versus pricing and this is my plot yeah so my plot looks like a nicer one okay so like this dot 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 and it's separated so basically how does this happen this dot 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 comes from this r minus minus which i have used and then my color was red so that is why all of these appear in red only right so now this is done now we are left with one more variable so we will be moving towards the another variable which is one left okay now i will be doing the same things only a little difference so for that let me write as 
plt dot figure and in bracket I would write fig size and here I would be mentioning the same that is 16,5 and you, even you can just give it off your choice whatever you wish. So I will write plt dot dot okay and now here I will be using that z. Now here I would be making another symbol okay so for that symbol what I would be doing I would be putting the semi quotes and then I would be putting a small g and then this arrow up okay. So from this I would be getting some different shape of like you can see some different shapes here and now I'll be wanting a green color okay so that is why I've given color is equal to and in semi I have written g right now I would write plt dot x sticks x sticks x t i c k s okay in the bracket I would write rotation rotation is equal to 90 okay this is done now what I'll be doing I'll be like giving a title so I would write plt dot title okay plt dot title and in the bracket i would be writing category versus and my last was uh what was the last one i just need to check that once because okay so in the last we have done reviews okay so here i would be writing reviews category versus and that would be reviews okay category versus reviews now what I will be doing, I will be just going downside now, I will be just defining x and y. So plt dot x label in bracket I would be writing category and okay just let me write a small and that is c-a-t-e-g-o-r-y and I will be putting these you can say marks and then I will be writing plt dot y label and now I will be writing here reviews okay reviews and R E V I E W S okay now I'll be putting this marks and here we go so I need to write plt dot show at the last and now when I'm gonna run this it will be resulting me in a new thought now just have a look that on the x-axis we have category right and on even on the y we have reviews now just see the shape is different for my plots for points which I have and now they are triangle and why they are triangle because here in plt dot plot i have used this g and this upper that is power sign so basically this is the use of this power sign that if you want to make this triangle so basically then we use it okay and i have written the color is equal to g so that means the color is green right and after that this is the heading you can say category versus review that was the title which i have given so this was about the data visualization now just let me quickly give an overview from the starting that of what we have done we have just imported nine libraries that were numpy panda cban uh, cbon and matplotlib so basically we have just used after that i have just imported my data in the df then we have checked the type the we have seen dev tail these functions after that i have checked the shape then we have seen describe then I discussed about the box plot and the outline the box plot. Then we have just discussed about the histogram. Then we have moved towards the data cleaning. In that, I just checked that whatever are the null values, we just tried to clear that null value. So for checking that how many outliers were there, we have just done a thing that was df and df dot rating is greater than 5 because ratings cannot be greater than 5. So if there is something like that, so that must be an outlier, outlier that is like unwanted data, okay? So we just found one row, so I just dropped that row and after that, that when I just plotted the box plot and histogram, so they look fine. Now there were no of the outliers, okay? Now, uh, we have just done one more thing. Now we have just removed the columns that were 90% empty. So this was the thing that we have done. Now moving towards the data manipulation. So here just I have taken a median to fill the null spaces of my like you can say of the columns which were having null values. So we have just taken mean, median like more these things to fill their null values. So we have just completed this and when just after that we have seen describe. So we have just got that reviews install and price. We have just converted all these three to integers one okay. After that, today we have seen about data visualization. We have plotted several graphs and like when we see these look very nice. Okay, so this is how we do a basic data analysis in a, you can say this is a, this was a small data set. This was not a too much big data set. Not, there were not of the too much values, sorry, uh, null values and not too much outliers. So this was a very basic and very simple data set on the data science analysis. So basically this is how we do data analysis. These are the things which are required in doing data analysis.
so i hope i hope you just got all the points about data analysis what are the functions we use for doing a basic one and all these stuff so i hope i made the all these things clear to you so if you have any doubts you can rewatch the videos and yeah if you have doubts you can just uh, see all of the parts so if you haven't seen all the rest parts and you are seeing even this part only so what i would suggest to see all the parts otherwise it will make like you can say a little, little confusion or something like that so you can just see all the all the parts so there are the total 20 uh, like there are total four parts okay and if you have any doubts you can rewatch the videos or you can just ask me in the comment box so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye